Welcome to another episode of the Private Property Home Shopper Show, where we go around South Africa and show you some of the most exclusive and expensive homes this beautiful country has to offer. Today, you can see I'm lounging in a home, which is something we don't usually do in the openings because this is a 34,000 rand home, four bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms with a two car garage right here in the heart of Bryanson that is available right now. My name is Chad Riveros. This is the Private Property Home Shopper Show. Welcome home. Okay, and now we are inside the house, another beautiful house and another rental, which again is not the first time we've ever showcased a rental on the show, but this is the second time and this is the second rental. Coming into the kitchen, you've got a open view of all of your living areas. You've got these two beautiful hanging lights. I love the frosted glass and the decoration in it, hovering up over your center island, a spacious center island, generally generous when it comes to this side of home. And one of my favorite features in center islands are these plug points. So if you are whipping up a meal or doing anything, you can start putting appliances here and utilizing the space for so much more than just a place to eat breakfast if you don't want to go to the dining room table area. The center island also does come with under counter storage, space for a double fridge, very, very rare in homes this size. Then you've got plenty of prep area, beautiful, beautiful top of the cabinets. I love this light stone and how it works so well with the wood cabinetry, plenty of cabinetry, I must admit, admit space for the microwave, double sink, under counter storage for your appliances, smeg oven, so this is a six top, oh, sorry, five top gas burner, smeg extractor, beautiful little window here that you can open up, looks out onto the back of the house and also gets in some nice fresh air. And then if those ovens are too big for you, you can always come here and work on your built-in small oven. <laughs> Not actually built-in, but cool little feature there. Now, you've got your dining room table right here. Very easy access into the kitchen. If you are into entertainment or if you really want a nice seamless living area, you've got this right here. Another really cool feature I like is not one, not two, but three different entrances out onto the back garden. We've got a beautiful chandelier here casting quite a lot of light around this area. These are both stackable sliding doors, aluminum frames, you know they're gonna last a lifetime. And then you're looking out onto your pool. So, really cool garden, very spacious that they could add a pool in there. Now, this year we don't see very often, and we did see it in the other rental. I love that they've got a fireplace built in. Cold winter nights in South Africa, you've got a stunning fireplace, gas fireplace, crackling warmth, super, super easy to use, super easy to start, very convenient. And here we are in the lounge area. The whole ceiling's got down lighting, quite a tall ceiling, so it does make this house feel so much more spacious. And then you can see the amount of furniture you can fit in here, which is really good. Behind me, you've got the staircase. The staircase that leads upstairs onto your living area. Glass inserts, stainless steel, really nicely done. Frosted glass up there, letting a lot of natural light in, but then still keeping the privacy that you do need when you're talking about cluster homes. So, before we head upstairs, let's talk again about the other features here. We've got that door right there leading out onto a double garage, fully enclosed automated garage doors. Then just around the corner, you've got your guest bathroom. That guest bathroom has a single vanity. You've got your sink and then you've got the toilet with a hidden cistern tucked away in the corner. Super easy access for all of your guests. Now, I think it's time to open up this little baby gate and head upstairs. Let's take a look at the bedrooms. Coming up the staircase, two things to take note of. One, beautiful inbuilt lighting. We've got two lights there and two lights there illuminating this specifically at night. You don't want to end up stumbling. Beautiful, beautiful chandelier hanging over the staircase. And then we find ourselves in this pajama lounge. Now, all of the bedrooms in this home, four bedroom home, four and a half bathrooms. So all of these bedrooms do come with their own ensuite bathroom, which is absolutely fantastic for bigger families. You know, you're never gonna have problems with anybody fighting over bathroom. But right here, beautiful space for a pajama lounge. You'll see again uh, what Future Dev has done is this cool little thing here where they've put in cable feeding areas. So if you do put a TV up here, if you put a wall unit in, you can feed these cables through and they pop out at these plug points. You've got a high mounted plug point as well as space for your DSTV and anything else you might need. So it's a lot of those small things that make living in a home like this so much, so much simpler. And I love that Future Devs included that. Down lighting in the area, plenty of light, window over there also letting in light. First bedroom to my right hand side. We're gonna take a look at this one. We're gonna come up. We're gonna take a look at the other two located on the far end of the hallway. And then 
we're going right back there to the master suite. So let's start off with bedroom number one. And here we are, bedroom number one. Let's talk a little bit about this. We've got built-in cupboards, plenty of space here. This double bed fits, or actually queen bed, fits very, very easily. Down lighting, so again, keeping that spacious ceiling, making the room look like it's got more space than a room this size, which usually we've got opening outwards, some windows here, letting in some air, letting in some light, but also very, very private, which again is a concern for a lot of people buying clusters. Yeah, it shouldn't be a concern because everything is very private. Then here's your ensuite. We've got a single toilet floating with the hidden vanity, again, conserving on that space. And just behind the door over here, you've got your walk-in shower beautifully clad in glass, really nice, spacious and bright toilet, which I think we really like. Then let's talk about these two bedrooms over here. We're gonna start on the left, go to the right, and then it's a master suite. Now, coming into your second bedroom located upstairs, you'll see the size of it has increased substantially. A bed fits in very, very easily with ample space on either side. This time, again, you've got your built-in cupboards, beautiful down lighting, bright light filtering through from the windows. And then, once again, you've also got your ensuite bathroom. However, the bathroom comes with a couple of more features. You've got your floating toilet, hidden cistern, single vanity mirror above it. Then you've also got your shower as well as bathtub. Really cool feature to have both of those options available, specifically within clusters at this price point. I think it's beautiful value for money. But now it does become time to talk about the next bedroom located directly opposite. You've got your third bedroom that we've seen so far. It is a carbon copy of what we've seen. You can see how easily and simply everything fits in and just how much free reign you've got to make the space your own. You've again got your ensuite toilet as well as a bathtub and shower, single vanity, plenty of storage space and space to go about your business. I love the way that the lighting filters through here and however, the bedrooms still are kept quite private. And there we go, we've got three bedrooms out the way, one more bedroom to go at this beautifully priced home right here in the heart of Bryanson and this it is your master suite. So this master suite comes with the most space we've seen in any bedroom so far. We've got a opening door right over here, glass almost floor to ceiling, looking out onto a balcony. And that balcony looks down over your stunning garden, letting a lot of light. But if you are looking for more light, you've got a horizontal window recessed quite high up on the wall on the left hand side letting in so much more light and again keeping that privacy top of mind as you can see how easily the bed fits in here we've got cupboards not only to my right but also right in front of me again all of them finished so nicely in that matte wood then just behind me we've got your master bathroom and your master bathroom has got to come with more features than any other bathroom it's got to feel just that much more special and trust me this master bathroom does you've got a walk-in shower beautifully clad in glass then not only the shower but you've got the bath of this bathtub is freestanding and absolutely massive you can relax in there and really just unwind from a long day of work but when you're getting ready maybe you need more than one vanity so you don't have one but two vanities both of them freestanding massive mirror just above it plenty of under counter storage lots of lighting in this bathroom then your toilet is again a hidden system freestanding toilet again adding to that feel of really high quality materials but that does bring us to the end of this incredible house tour right here in Bryanson. So you might be asking me, Chad, what's next? I wanna purchase this house, what do I do? So what I'd like you to do is contact the agent's future dev. All of their details will be on screen right now and you can get this four bedroom, four and a half bathroom right here in Bryanson all for yourself at a killer price of 34,000 Rand a month. But if you'd like to purchase a home, be it a home this incredible with a nice blue pool and ample garden space, or if you'd like to buy something bigger, smaller, or anywhere in between, what I'd like you to do is go to privateproperty.co.za because on that site, you have every single home across South Africa at every single price point with all the different bedrooms, bathrooms, and amenities you could wish for. So go on to private property and find your next home. But from myself, Chad Viveros, the team at the Home Shopper Show, as well as everybody at Private Property who makes this show possible, thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you again every Monday, Friday at 8 p.m. We love you and goodbye.